I'm making a rotary mast clamp to hold a base rotated radio mast vertical whilst allowing it to rotate freely. The clamp fits onto the roof rack of a van and is intended for field use in amateur radio contests. These are the last few parts for the project. This is one of the mounting blocks for the edge of the roof rack. I'm using an edge finder to locate the centre of the spigot hole so I can fit a locking bolt to hold the spigot in position. The stainless steel spigots and aluminium clamp blocks are left permanently in place. The main part of the rotary mass clamp slips onto the spigots and is locked in place with some knurled nuts. Although I use a Heimer, I do rather like this old school edge finder. That's the hole for the locking bolt drilled, now I need to counterbore the hole so the head of a hex socket screw will lie flush with the body. Off camera I spot drilled the spigot. I'm drilling the spigot 5mm for an M6 by 1 thread. I picked a spiral point HSS cobalt machine tap as they seem to cut this 304 stainless quite cleanly. As it's a through hole I'm not using the automatic tapping head, just lots of gronk with a pin spanner. Although this stuff looks like earwax it is in fact that splendid CT90 tapping jollop. I'm putting a lead-in chamfer on the hole with a countersink, ideally with it in forwards rather than reverse. It really does look like earwax. The reamed holes are close fit with the spigot. The lock bolt makes it nice and solid. Next job's the knurled brass lock nuts. I turned the CZ121 brass to 32mm diameter using a high rate polished carbide insert which is really intended for aluminium. As Quinn would say, now we face it off, as is tradition. I cheated a bit here, used a 45 degree insert to make that wide chamfer rather than using the compound. I blame terminal laziness.
I bought some really nice cobalt stub drills from Drill Service of Hawley. This is a 6.75mm tapping drill for M8 by 1.25. Works a treat. Now because this is a blind hole, I'll use a YG1 spiral tap. Horrible noise alert ahead. I've started using the KGM and double ended parting inserts as I get more repeatable results than with the single edge ones which clip into parting blades. Cut will do left and right biased versions of those which I do find useful but for general parting off I stick to the KGM end style now. I couldn't find my scissor style knurling tool so I had to use this janky pressure knurler which is pretty dreadful although the knurl wheels are sharp enough. Quick clean up and chamfer and uh, it looks alright really. Next part is the two end blocks which press into the two inch square box section. The blocks have 20mm reamed holes and fit over the spigots on the roof rack clamps. I'll deck the tops flat then cut around 3mm off each face to leave a good square spigot with a single setup. Thanks to Joe Pyzinski for another great YouTube tip.
thank goodness it's a perfect fit. I've wrecked a few work pieces this week, but not this one. A quick chamfer of the corners and it pressed in very nicely. The second last operation is parting off a pair of bronze thrust washers for the gate bearing. Now all that remains before final assembly is reaming the spigot holes in the end blocks. <laughs> 